chases. People worldwide are living longer. Today, most people can expect to live into their 60s and beyond. Every country in the world is experiencing growth in both the size and the proportion of older persons in the population. By 2030, one in six people in the world will be aged 60 years or over. Human life expectancy is on the rise. Whereas the average person born in 1960 could expect to live to 52 and a half years of age, someone born today has an average life expectancy between 79 and 83 years of age. In today's episode, we will be discussing one simple way to ensure you have a significant retirement balance to help sustain you through your golden years. I'm your host, Chris Becks, a financial and business advisor with over 40 years experience and the founder of the multi-award winning C. Becks Business Solutions for Good. And because this is a financial planning topic, as an authorised representative of Interprac Financial Limited, I'm obliged to give you this general advice disclaimer before we begin. The information provided is for educational purposes and is general advice only, as we did not take into account your investment objectives, financial situation or particular needs. Before making an investment decision on the basis of this advice, you should consider how appropriate the advice is to your particular investment needs and objectives. You should also consider the relevant product disclosure statement before making any decision relating to a financial product. Chris Bex is a director of CBEX Financial Solutions and an authorized representative of Interprac Financial Planning Proprietary Limited, AFSL. 246638. Okay, now that is done, let's dive into this episode. One of retirees' biggest regrets is not setting aside enough money for their retirement. A recent survey showed that 59% of retirees say that they regret not saving more, and 60% say they should have started saving earlier. Saving more and putting it into your superannuation fund is a great start, especially if you already have 12% of the value of your salary being contributed by your employer. But there is a catch. The ATO sets a maximum general contribution level each year, called your concessional cap, before your contributions are taxed at a higher rate. As of the 1st of July 2024, the concessional contributions cap is $30,000. So if you have a salary of say $100,000 and your employer contributes $12,000 to your superannuation fund, there is a shortfall of $18,000 that you could still contribute. This could be from your savings and claimed as a personal tax deduction on your income tax return or from a salary sacrifice arrangement with your employer who could drop your gross salary down to 82000 from 100000 in this example. Now, a lesser known yet potentially powerful option within the Australian superannuation system is the ability to carry forward unused concessional contributions. This rule can be a game changer for many Australians looking to boost their retirement savings. <music> The Australian Tax Office allows you to carry forward any unused concessional contribution cap amounts from up to five previous years. This can be a lifesaver to increase your contribution caps in later years and potentially reduce your taxable income. You're eligible if you meet two criteria. Number one, you have to have a total superannuation balance of less than $500,000 at the 30th of June of the previous financial year. And number two, you have unused concessional contribution cap amounts from up to five previous years. To check what your personal balance could be, go to your MyGov account and look under the superannuation tab for carry forward concessional contributions. So how does it work? Okay, so let's say last year you couldn't max out your concessional contributions cap due to financial constraints. The good news is under this rule, 
you haven't lost that balance remaining from last year's concessional cap. You can use that unused amount in future years when you're in a better financial position to contribute more to your super. Think of it as a superannuation contribution rollover benefit. If last year's concessional cap was $27,500, but you only managed to contribute $15,000, you can carry forward the unused $12,500 to boost your contributions in the upcoming years. The ability to carry forward your unused contributions balance for five years is a very generous concession that should be taken advantage of whenever possible. This can be particularly useful for people who have irregular income or those who take career breaks. You can make up for the years you contributed less by topping up when your financial situation improves. And here's an important tip. To take full advantage, you'll need to keep track of your total superannuation balance and any unused concessional contributions. This information is crucial as it determines your ability for carrying forward the unused amounts, but also to ensure that you don't exceed the cap after using up all of the unused balance, otherwise you may need to pay extra tax. Also, it's worth noting that these unused amounts are only carried forward for up to five years. For example, a 2019-2020 unused cap amount that is not used by the end of 24-25 will expire and is lost forever. The oldest available unused cap amounts are carried forward first. For example, unused cap amounts from 2019 to 2020 would be used to increase your cap first before unused cap amounts from 2020 to 21. Unused concessional cap amounts are applied automatically once you exceed the cap in any financial year. So don't miss out on this opportunity to make the most of your superannuation contribution. We can avoid one of retirees' biggest regrets by not setting enough money aside for retirement if we create a plan a plan to maximise our concessional cap for superannuation contributions each year and take advantage of any unused carry forward concessional contributions. The earlier this plan is started, the greater the rewards of having a significantly better retirement benefits in the future. The key is to start that plan, but when you start it is up to you. As with any financial planning or matters relating to tax, to ensure a smooth transition and make informed decisions, always get some advice from an expert before you do anything. It's good insurance against costly financial mistakes. If you would like more information about how to maximise your retirement benefits, call our office today on 03 55 612 to discuss your options. Thank you for listening. I'm Chris Becks and I look forward to presenting another episode to you real soon. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support The Chasers channel, we would love you to share it with your business friends and colleagues, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and review. To catch all the latest from CBEX Business Solutions for Good, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com CBEX, Instagram at CBEX, and on the internet at CBEX.com. Thanks again, and we'll be sharing new info with you on our next episode.